Hey there guys and welcome to this tutorial about creating a continuous integration continuous delivery pipeline using Jenkins with Docker. This is the first episode of a longer series in which we're going to be installing Jenkins on Aruba Cloud so that in the end we can have a full-fledged continuous delivery environment for our small project. The reason we've chosen Aruba Cloud is that it offers a pretty efficient clouding solution for as much as one euro per month, which we found to be quite effective for small development teams. So without wasting any more of your time, I'd say that we just kickstart this tutorial. As the first logical step, we should head over to Aruba Cloud in order to register a new account. I already have an account so I'll be visiting the customer area but regi the registration process is pretty simple so it was left out of scope in this tutorial. Uh, we will be wanting to get to the control panel as there we can find configuration for each machine. There usually is a bit of loading involved with Aruba as a cloud provider so please bear with me. Okay, so this is the control panel. We should now click on create new cloud server. I already have one created, but I'll be creating a new one. Um, as you can see, there are multiple options, but we'll be choosing the one euro a month option because it's like perfect for a small continuous integration server. From this menu, we should be able to select the type of operating system that we need from a template. I'm going to go and select Ubuntu, but you can feel free to try like other variants since it's pretty easy to configure them. So just select Ubuntu for now. Um, also you should remember to not forget the root password since uh, you will be needing this on the actual machine. Oop, it kind of seems that I'm not an expert at writing a password more than one time. so. Uh, You'll have to bear in with me for this. I'll be using the name Abacus Jenkins for this server instance, but feel free to rename it into anything more relevant. Okay, this is just a confirmation telling us that uh, our server instance will be created and after this loading screen is done practically we should be able to see um, our instance being provisioned. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video until this is done. Now that our server instance is configured, we can click on manage and go to the sign in option in order to be able to see its IP address, which we will be using to connect to the server itself. I for one am going to use Putty as an SSH client, but feel free to use like anything. If uh, you're on Linux, you should already have a built in SSH client, so no problems there. Just log in as root and remember your root password that you've entered when creating the machine. Okay, and now for the fun part, we'll be installing Jenkins on Ubuntu. So let me just Google that in order to get the commands that we need to do this. You can copy paste them over from here. What these commands practically do is they install the required Jenkins key and repository entry so that the apt get utility will be able to install Jenkins or the latest version of Jenkins from the correct repository. Now we should run apt get update so that the apt get utility can update its uh, source list. And lastly, we should be telling apt-get to install Jenkins. So copying over this command and running it should actually start the Jenkins installation process. Uh, just hit Y in the prompt and hit enter so that the actual installation process begins. This should take a while, so I'll be keeping silent until it's installed. Now 
now that Jenkins is installed on the machine we can use service Jenkins start in order to start the Jenkins service uh, after hitting this command we should be able to access uh, Jenkins in the browser by using the IP address and port 8080 and we should be able to see Jenkins running however Jenkins will require an initial admin password that it has installed on a specific path on our machine so we will have to be navigating to that path in order to retrieve the password we can just copy it from here and paste it into the browser window and then click continue and then we can select plugins to install I'm a bit picky about these things so I'm going to be disabling Apache Ant as a build tour for example or Subversion as a um, versioning control system but you can leave everything as it is as I'm just trying to illustrate the fact that the Jenkins installation wizard allows you to manually select which plugins get installed I'm also going to be disabling the LDAP authentication plugin that Jenkins has and then I'm going to click install and now we will have to wait until Jenkins finishes up the installation so I'm going to be pausing the video in order to not waste time now that the installation is complete Jenkins will require us to create a first admin user which will be the user that we will use in order to connect to Jenkins so uh, here we will have to insert a, a username a password the full name is practically the name that Jenkins will use in order to uh, refer to you and also the email address will be used by Jenkins in order to send notifications and uh, that's pretty much it thank you guys for uh, bearing with me on this tutorial and I hope this served you well